visionary and welcome back to our channel this is raquel of raquel and davidian unleash your genius and in this video when you start this experiment of human design the first thing you're told is that you need to sleep alone so what is this all about you're gonna find out in this video If you are taking the human design experiment, then you may have heard you should sleep alone. I know, it's terrifying. <laughs> it's a terrifying, bizarre, and weird thought. This is what we're going to be talking about today. This is not about sex, cuddling, watching TV, or love. This is something completely different. It's something far more important. It's about your aura, your aura hygiene, and how this stuff operates in human design. Now, this stuff can change your life if you experiment with it. So when you dabble in, you're sort of listening to these YouTube videos, the background, and while you're scrolling through Instagram, or you're like, oh, this is kind of interesting stuff. But when your life gets to a point where it becomes full frontal force, meaning you are so burned out, frustrated, or bitter that you begin to realize that you have to take this experiment seriously and your body, your consciousness, everything just says, yes, I'm willing to try it. I'm willing to experiment with this intel. I'm willing to give it everything I have because nothing else has really worked. Then that's when this video is important when you realize that holy shizzle this stuff is accurate this is definitely explaining everything that's happening in my life and so now i'm willing to go one step further and i'm willing to experiment with this stuff and see if it really works for me if i put it into action and i put it into action properly so with that said you are being conditioned while you sleep so it is innocent it's not like someone is doing voodoo on you or anything like that there's no way to avoid it you are being conditioned by them even if you have exactly the same centers defined you're still being conditioned by them with their hanging gates however it's very very rare to have your same centers defined it's incredibly rare most people will have some type of undefined center sleeping with a defined center and that my friend is conditioning you in a way that keeps you living as you're not self so if you sleep alone you'll begin to dismantle the conditioning and you'll begin to wake up in your own aura, wake up in your own field, wake up in feeling yourself, and you'll have a lot easier time taking on your inner authority, taking on the experiment, and feeling into who you are and who you're not. And yes, of course, it does take some time, and a lot of people like to take this stuff and go a lot deeper with it, and they want to learn about their inner authority. They want to learn about their aura types. I will put some links below if you haven't seen all of our videos on this. It really obviously helps to jump in and really take this information seriously. But when you sleep alone, you're not being conditioned, and you're able to really dismantle the programming so you can kind of think of this a little bit like the matrix is that you're being held in the matrix or being held in a conditioning field and there's a lot of different ways that you're intertwined or enmeshed and one of those is how you're being conditioned so just imagine how easy it is to uh, do this simple thing right? Have your own bed. So when you have a defined center, you are conditioning your partner where they are undefined. And yes, that means your children. It means anyone in your house. And it 
and they are conditioning you where they're defined. So particularly if you are a projector or even a manifester and you're being combined by the generator world, that's happening most of the time anyway because most of the population are generators. However, if you are sleeping in the same bed with a generator, then you really have no hope to <laughs> decondition from that and no hope to really find out where you are in that sea and really come to terms with what it means to be, you know, not amplifying the uh, sacral energy, meaning doing more than you think you can do, not knowing when enough is enough. Oftentimes there's addiction. Oftentimes there's um, feeling like you can't keep up or extreme burnout, all of these things. And it's not just projectors, like I said, it's also the manifester and the reflector. So the types, the three types that are not generators, um, they really, really need to sleep alone. And really the truth is everyone does, but particularly for those people who need to feel what it's like to be in their own field and not in the generator world. When you're conditioned, you don't know who you are and you're out of alignment with your design. And here are some of the things that then begin to happen. There's frustration in the workplace. And actually, this really should be frustration in the house, in the home, frustration on the street, frustration at the grocery store, the marketplace, the anywhere, really. It's like just frustration. People become very disappointed. They're incredibly angry at life. People are not satisfied in their careers, their jobs, their families, or their businesses. People are disappointed and bitter and people are doing work that they don't enjoy. They're living out the shoulds, right? The should do this, the should do that. People are not being allowed to do the things they will appropriately excel at because they don't know who they are and they don't know exactly what is correct for them. So they've been ushered into the system, so to speak. They've been ushered into the cog becoming a cog in the wheel rather than allowing themselves to self-actualize and find out who they truly are. So each aura is very unique. The manifestors are the ones who primarily start to feel the anger, the generators and manifesting generators, the frustration, the projectors, the bitterness, the reflectors, the disappointment, now, the innovators, builders, advisors, and evaluators, these are the terms from BG5. So it's really um, referencing who you are in the workplace, which is a lot of the work that Davidian and I do or that I teach is about business and how human design operates in your businesses and in your careers, your jobs. And the truth is, if you're not operating correctly, your aura is emitting chaos and confusion. So when you sleep alone, you begin the process of deconditioning, knowing who you truly are and living as your true authentic self, waking up free from the influence. <laughs> okay, so if your partner takes this personally, pause this video and let me talk to him or her or them for a minute. Meaning if you're telling your partner, hey, I'm doing this human design experiment, I want to have my own bed, I want to sleep in a different room, and they're like, that's not cool, that means you don't, you know, like me or love me or, you know, people take it personally, they don't really understand why you want to do this, so if that's the case, this next part of this video is for them. Your partner loves you. This is not about sex, sexiness, or any lack of intimacy or attraction that your partner has about you. This is an experiment your partner is undergoing to live a more fulfilled, successful, awe-inspiring, peaceful, and satisfied life. Okay? So you're still loved. You're still adored. You're still honored. You're still blessed. And your partner is still grateful for you in their life. They just want to have their own bed and be in their own energy and sleep in their own energy field. And believe me, it's so wonderful when you give yourself the freedom and the past to be in your own bed. And it really is a remarkable experience. Now, you can still cuddle and have fun and be with your partner 
um, for, you know, the nighttime or in the mornings, all of that. This is just about the actual process of sleeping. So let's do this. You know you secretly are so psyched that I just gave you permission to find your own sacred sleep space. <laughs> Especially if you're like me and you're a projector and you're a queen and you want your own queen bed and you want it to be with your own sheets and you want it to be in your own decoration and your own field. I love my bed. My bed is so beautiful and it just is so perfectly designed for me. And I'm so grateful that I sleep alone. And as much as I love Dividian and he, and grateful that we're both on this experiment together. All right. So let's talk about the healthy sleep habits for each type. So as we said, everyone should sleep in their own aura so that they can wake up as themselves. When you sleep alone, you're woke. <laughs> you wake up as yourself. The manifestors, projectors, and reflectors should try and go to sleep before they're tired. They should be in bed, let the generator energy kind of move through the system slowly. It'll be removed. And then always go to bed before the exhaustion. If you wait and you kind of miss that window, as they say, and you wait and you're overly tired, falling asleep is very challenging for you. The generator should drop into bed when they're fully, completely exhausted and they are done generating. If they go to bed before this or if they haven't fully exercised all the generator fuel out of their system, they may experience insomnia, tossing and turning. Um, particularly for the generator who doesn't know human design and they sleep with a non-energy type, the situation is incredibly uncomfortable from the, for the non-energy being. So a generator sleeping with a projector, a generator sleeping with a manifest or a reflector who hasn't fully completed or depleted all of their generator fuel, then they have like this excess energy up and then it, it conditions and it's very uncomfortable. And so the non-energy beings will not be able to sleep. Also, we see this in many people in the situations where they force sleep with sleeping pills, the non-energy being will still be conditioned by that generator fuel that did not get depleted. And it's really uncomfortable for everybody. The manifesting generator, the same idea applies. The one difference or the one caveat for the manifesting generator is they can go to bed and then continue to work until they're done generating so they can work in bed until they're complete. So right now, as I'm filming this video, we are in the global pandemic. This is a really good opportunity to practice healthy sleeping habits. It's a really good opportunity to sleep more, to rest, to fully remove yourself from the generator fuel in general that has been maybe moving you in a direction that's not correct for you. Many, many people have been on autopilot moving and moving and not taking the time to stop. And that is the most important part of every single person's design is to learn how to wait. And so this time out is key for the planet. And it's an opportunity to learn how to sleep correctly. If you want to learn more, then look in the notes below. If you want to learn more about your chart, make sure you get your free chart. We also have amazing courses. If you're like, oh my God, I need to go deeper into this intel. I need to get certified. I need to learn more. Subscribe to our channel. Ring the bell for any updates. We go live a lot and we do a lot of trainings. We also love your feedback and your questions. And that's what generates new videos for you to share with your friends because this is so important this information so share the video let them know tell them a little bit about sleeping alone it's very helpful to know why and what's going on with all this stuff we do try and answer all of our comments and i will look forward to seeing you in the next video be kind be beautiful and unleash your genius